If a picture is worth a thousand words, then McMinnville's W.S. Lively once spoke volumes. In the early 1900s, Lively was one of the best known photographers in the nation. Today, his work can be seen all the way from the Smithsonian to his hometown in a museum. Rob Wiles is going to take us there to discover some of his innovative work. Yeah, do you don't want to go to Everest if you're afraid of heights. I still would love to if you're in McMinnville and want a good conversation about Tibet or just about anything else, you should meet Monty Wanamaker and Chris Keithley. Both artists, they're also the proprietors of the Southern Museum and Galleries, which celebrates life through the lives and work of residents of McMinnville and Warren County, including one man who had a hand in revolutionizing image making, W.S. Lively. Monty Wanamaker says as a young man in the late 1800s, Lively knew what he wanted, to be a photographer. After spending his early years as an itinerant photographer traveling around taking pictures, he finally came home to McMinnville to help run the family business and to start one of his own. After his father died, he moved to McMinnville uh, to help run the business next door, at which time he opened his own photography studio in the building as well. So at that time there were furniture store, undertaking, funeral business and a photography business in the, in the building next door. And that lasted until, oh, early 1900s. His work was well respected, but his big break came when admirer and supporter George Eastman of Kodak fame asked Lively to submit portraits for a 1909 exhibition, for which he decided to make a splash in a big way. Okay, now here's a very interesting photograph on Mr. Lively. Very, very interesting. And how big is this one? About six by nine inches. Okay, and then there's that one. 30 by 60 inches. The size of the originals that he printed from 30 by 60 inch plate glass negatives which wasn't done. It had never been done previously. Very, very It was a very re revolutionary idea from him and uh, that he pulled it off so beautifully. Well, they are spectacular. You, the smile on that little boy is something. That was his first grandchild. Really? He looked so happy and to be he, wearing uh, that headdress. Yes, yes. He, uh, I guess he loved Indians and Cowboys and Indians even then. Sure, I guess so. The huge portraits made Lively a huge success. He printed three 30 by 60 inch glass plate negative portraits that he showed at the 1909 portrait convention. Well, they were a sensation. Nothing had ever been seen quite like that in the country at that time. That began his career as a an award-winning and prominent and popular photographer. Ever the entrepreneur, Lively, and a business partner decided the world needed more photographers, and Lively was just the guy to teach them. They decided that they would open a school of photography here in McMinnville. There was only one other in the country at the time, and so they purchased this large three-story Southern Female College building and converted it and uh, equipped it with the most modern equipment and began the school, opened it in 1904. Students started coming from all over the country to study photography with him. He continued the school up until 1928 when it caught on fire. Sadly, many treasures were lost in that fire, but the museum has many more to show, as well as interesting items about everyday life in Warren County and the not-so-everyday life of another well-known McMinnville native, Dottie West. You said you, you created this portrait of her. I painted that portrait in 2007. Mm -hmm. She loved McMinnville, and she would um, tell everybody every time she was rehearsing or playing or performing on stage that 
she came from McMinnville, Tennessee. Even in Las Vegas, she was up on the stage telling people about McMinnville. Uh -huh. So she lauded McMinnville during her career. Uh -huh. She loved McMinnville. And so I thought it was appropriate that we have an exhibit dedicated to her in the museum. This place truly has something for just about everybody. Country music fans, photography buffs, history enthusiasts, art aficionados. If you're looking for it, you can find it and have a good, interesting conversation with Monty and Chris at the Southern Museum and Galleries in McMinnville.